Everybody's doing something. We'll do nothing. I think I might be able to help with the Pan Pam dilemma. We've come a long way since Frank the Tank, and we don't want him coming back now, do we? The local big time show. Super duper. That's nice. How was your week? The bachelor party was really tough. Did, uh, who was the kid that was passed down the golf cart? Oh, yeah, that was Lane. That was hilarious. I, the yeah. picture, the picture of him with the rifle, his shades were like sideways. <laughs> yeah. the shotgun he, his hand. he was having a rough morning. He was having a rough morning. <laughs> he, he, he looked like the Ferris Bueller day off character. <laughs> Just Here's the like thing, perch. right? Like, obviously I'm a big fan of Sam Todd's best friend. Not, not you. Not yeah. you, Sam. I'm, I'm a yeah. medium fan of you, but right. Todd's best well, friend Sam. <laughs> Todd's best friend Sam. I'm I'm a big fan of his, but we scheduled to go gun shooting on a Saturday morning that was in a place that was 45 minutes away from New Orleans, like directly into the swamp. So, like the nine of us pack into a fucking minivan, just. Like at 9 a.m., or it may have even been later than that. I don't even know what time, but it, everybody was just absolutely destroyed, right? Some guys had only gotten like two hours of sleep. Some guys, <laughs> three hours, right? Jesus. So we pack into the fucking minivan, and we drive like 45 minutes into the fucking swamp, right, to this place that's called like Bayou Country Sporting Clays. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> this place in the middle of absolute nowhere. Yeah, some little water <laughs> so, boy type uh, people, I'm guessing. Well, that's what you're. <laughs> oh, whoa. That's what you're expecting, right? You're expecting like water boy type people. Hold on one second. Let me, let me throw a pause on this real quick because. <laughs> I, I want to make sure you hear it. And my dog's having a shit attack because of because my breakfast came. You got got a couple of acai bowls. You ever have you ever have those? No, what's that? The acai bowl? No. It's like this like new thing in the last five years that's like really popular. Well, it's new to me in the last five years. It's just become like super, super popular for a breakfast food. Hey, he's gone, bud. All right, he's gone. Chill. So it's become really popular. What it is, is it's like a, this frozen berry, right? Yeah. It's, right. And it's kind of, they pack it frozen. And then what they do is they put a lot of like toppings on it. And most of the time it comes with like blueberries, granola, coconut shavings, right? Oh, but really pe yeah, peanut butter. And they put it all on top of this frozen, this kind of like frozen sherbet-y berry called acai, but it doesn't have any sugar in it. It's it's straight berry. So it's not like super, super sweet, but it's like pretty sweet, right? Yeah. And it's really he healthy for you instead of like yogurt, instead of like sherbet, instead of ice cream, it's, it's actual frozen berry. And what it does is, is it, as you eat it, the berry melts so you're getting like melted kind of frozen berry with like peanut butter and a blueberry and like people put all sorts of stuff on it any type of fruit <laughs> any type of peanut butter That's but it's like a really really healthy kind of breakfast and then it yeah. comes with granola and you probably feel like a million dollars after eating it too <laughs> Well, if you eat one of those instead of eating the bacon egg and cheese burrito, you feel better. Yeah. Oh, no. I had the nice uh, colon cleansing this morning. You know where I go to get my well, breakfast? On the, on the weekends. Yeah. Oh, I go I go right down to that little gas station with that guy touching my sausage patty with his bare hands making oh, my, my burrito. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. That grill top hasn't been cleaned. That grill top <laughs> hasn't been cleaned in a decade and a half, pal. Oh. Okay. I... A decade and a half. All right. Hasn't been cleaned. That guy has... probably hasn't even been replaced in about three decades. Oh. 
He asked me if I wanted onions. I just go, you going to grab that with your Buddy, bare hands? put on whatever you're going to put on I it, love it, okay? too, because I just know going you like this. everything. Like, just grabbing after he's probably been touching the register, the gas pump, like, cleaning the restroom. Just wiping his bare hands, <laughs> grit and all. <laughs> on top of my sandwich bread. <laughs> yeah, I, just roll up the fucking burrito, pal. I love roll the fact up. that, like, as soon as he's done making it, he touched the register with his hands. I thought he was going to give a nice wipe yeah. down. <laughs> oh, my God. If oh. you're hitting up the <laughs> food, you, once you've crossed the threshold <laughs> of the doorstep, you've already put yourself at maximum risk. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You I really, it. Oh, they were like, yourself. yeah, you really fucked yourself. I was so, going there whatever you're height. eating or drinking, <laughs> I was going there to hide a corona too. <laughs> and yeah, this was at the it. time. This was at the time where it was, just, it was okay to just have a plastic windshield up, <laughs> and you could be maskless. Well, and this the guy, thing. I don't even know why you're bothering with the fucking mask if you're fucking eating a fucking gas station burrito. Like, oh, yeah. what's the fucking point, pal? <laughs> Iron stomach. That's almost that's as good. Like, <laughs> you know, that, that's almost as good as now that I just think about it. That picture you sent me of the guy with the, the hot dog on the counter. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, right? Hot dog on the counter. I want the confidence level as this 20 guy. Ounce, 20 ounce Coke. Open top. <laughs> oh, how about how about uh, I went to uh, Combi's the other day. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, and you know how they have like those? It's like wheels almost. It kind of looks like a, uh, just like stacks of wheels, and they have the hot dogs in them. Just, oh, just, right. just the, you mean the rolling? What? Talk about the rolling machine? Yeah, but they're, yeah, the they're just spinning with no protection over them. <laughs> Open air hot dog on a roller for <laughs> hours. For just hours, hours, just sweating on this roller. <laughs> Zero moisture left in that dog by like noon. <laughs> Hats off to the guy that yeah, smokes yeah. that thing at yeah, 8 p.m. I'll just put a whole new batch on by every hour. I don't know what they're fucking around. <laughs> You know what's even worse? There's what? this deli I go to that's unbelievable, and they have really good pizza. And during COVID, they were forced to put the pizza like individually wrapped in plastic. Now I didn't discover this place till like during COVID, but so restrictions are up. Now I see the pizza. They put it on a plastic dining room tray. No protection <laughs> next to well, like, like a CC's sausage patties that are wrapped up in tin foil and everything else. Oh. I mean, <laughs> why even bother with the fucking trick? <laughs> <laughs> I love it too because I'm trying to get my piece, and the guy before me touches all the crust. Yeah, the- of course, yeah. <laughs> He's gonna like break his piece off by touching like three other pieces that are surrounding it. (laughs) You're like, you know, there's a there's a cutter right there. (laughs) They like like, try it once. Use the spatula, guy. (laughs) My favorite part is they they give it try it once and they just give up and just pull it apart with their hands, touching all the rest of the slices. Contaminate the whole and they're always bed. like some guy that works construction. So you see their hands. Of course, yes, I'm are just like we'll never be clean. Ever they're again. just stained <laughs> charcoal color. <laughs> yes, stand will never be clean again, ever. <laughs> they're like fingernails are stained <laughs> black. <laughs> You know the time. I've worked with these guys. I've worked with these people. They exist. <laughs> I have. I, I've rubbed out. With <laughs> I've shared <laughs> breakfast pizza. With these human <laughs> oh, I've done that. I, I've shared a community bag of chips. I with have these shared guys. breakfast pizza with them. 
Those are the type of guys that uh, <laughs> you go to a Super Bowl party and they're the first day. Oh <laughs> just touch you up. <laughs> first dude with his hand in the chip bag. <laughs> You know it. First hand in the chip bag. You're like you're at a party. I like to inspect the hands. (laughs) They just bury through to get the biggest one. (laughs) Absolutely. (laughs) Yeah. Oh God. So many times (laughs) have I seen these hands, and they're fucking hands. They're not skinny fingers. Well, here's the thing. Like pre-COVID. Well, here. Well, let me let me just say I've worked. You know, you know me. I've worked demolition. I've worked construction, and I've worked. You know, in restaurant kitchens and stuff. And so, like, I will say this: pre-COVID, it's one of those things where, like, you see a guy's hands, and like he's he's just like his fingers are like stained from just doing really really hard labor. <laughs> And, but like, no, like all laughs aside though, like those guys, like pre COVID, you almost trusted that guy because he like, you know, it was, he'd been like graded, his hands had been graded down so much that it was like, like there probably wasn't any disease. (laughs) Yeah. Like there was no disease that could ever live on that dude's hands. Right. Because every day he was just grinding the skin down. You want to hear something? So you great. trusted it, but now post COVID, you're just worried about every fucking like oh, yeah. person who's touching your food. Oh yeah. How so about, like I, yeah. How about mid COVID? I was I don't know why this reminded me of it. I was driving around, and you know, like Fridays, how the trash guy comes. Yeah. No mask, bare hand people's yeah, trash. And those guys. Well, listen, those guys them. are never gonna get COVID. If those guys haven't died yet from the trash then there's nothing that's gonna kill those guys. <laughs> they have every like, antibody known to human being that's what i'm saying like th- those guys are fucking steel <laughs> like like uh like working at the hospital they take your blood right because they i didn't know this oh okay so first day they i thought i was getting drug tested which was like whoa i, I did not read this <laughs> you're <so> fucking <laughs> over here yeah i'm like <laughs> Yeah. I had more of a panic of that. Then I heard, it was like, no, we're just testing to see if you have antibodies so you don't get all these terrible diseases. I heard, I didn't oh. even care at that point. I was like, fuck that. I could care less. But I didn't know, like, like tuberculosis, HIV, like, all these things. So, like, airborne, you could still get them. And they want to see, like, if you have the, the antibodies for it to let you, like, work there. Yeah. And, uh. Did you have them? I mean, I haven't been pulled aside yet, knock on wood. No one's ever. So, told. yeah, so but, uh, yeah, if you didn't have them, um, they would probably pull no, you aside yeah. and say, hey, you can't work here because you're going to get yeah. sick. Yeah. Like, sign you're a waiver. Probably good. Like, you won't sue them. No Listen, one's... we we grew up in the playing outside in the dirt, getting scratched, playing sports, breaking <laughs> things. You know, so it's like, I mean, yeah, we could definitely still get COVID. I'm not saying we can't get COVID or can't get sick, but. I'm just saying that we our immune systems are probably pretty decent at, at the least. Oh, yeah. I mean, I checked in a guy like the other day. I was like, uh, do you have any of these symptoms? He goes, all of them. I go, all of them right now? <laughs> all of them? All of them at this second? <laughs> I just like, then get the fuck away from me. You're standing two feet in front of me. I'm like... Dude, like, you're blowing air in my face. Yeah, like, <laughs> why are you wheezing in front of me with all of these symptoms? <laughs> like, everyone else is like, yeah, nope, nope, all nope. Like, I'm like, right have you been tested? I'm like, usually everyone's like, nope, nope, nope. I'm like, have you been tested? Nope. Have you left the country? Nope. <laughs> this guy just walks in. Oh. Do you have any of these symptoms? He goes, all of them. <laughs> all of them right now or a week ago? <laughs> Oh, he's like, oh, right now I go, okay, we got to get you the fuck. I'm like, dude, you got to yeah, back up. Why don't you head to uh, room one? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we have to do, to isolate them from everyone else. That's what exactly, we have to Exactly, yeah. But uh, I did not know. The other thing, I did not realize how much 
fucking so like I'm like the 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 first line of defense. I have to tell like the doctor what's wrong with people, like diagnose. Right. Them. So you deal with anything, right? Like yeah. people. I this one guy. So like I'm looking at the laptop. I'm like typing. Like finish a report. This guy comes like running up. I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, oh, what's wrong? He just fucking plops this piece of shit right in front of my face. I'm like, what is this? He's like, oh, this is for doctor so and so. I'm like. Just frozen piece of poops. Like, I have to deal with that. Wait, are you, like, frozen pieces of feces? Frozen pieces of shit I gotta touch. Oh, this my dude God. Right in front of my face. I'm like, why Was is it in a bag? Face? No, well, usually we give him a bag to, like, so we don't have to look at frozen shit, <laughs> like, through a oh, cylinder. God. But uh, this dickhead forgot the bag, so he just plopped the frozen piece of shit. That's what, the man? grossest thing I've ever heard. That or uh, the other thing I fucking hate is, like, I'll ask, like, what's wrong? And they'll be like, this rash. And they fucking stick their wrist in your face. You're like, yeah. dude. Let me breathe in your rash. <laughs> yeah. I don't up. want what's on your arm. Can you please? Okay. Thanks for scratching it off into my face. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for putting this arm in my face with this giant yeah. rash. Could you back up and go to room one, please? <laughs> yeah. This one lady was covered head to toe in a rash. I couldn't believe oh, it. Oh, man. That's terrible. I'm like, That just makes her feel bad. I don't know what's wrong. I go, really? Yeah, please have your room one. <laughs> really? Really? You don't know what's wrong? Neither do I. Please step Neither away. Neither do I. Please head to room one, though. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you get in that room? Why don't you head on down the hallway? Room one on the right there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like, it's fucking, it's crazy. Some of the shit, yeah. the COVID stuff, that stuff doesn't even scare me anymore. <laughs> like the rashes. and You're this. in a whole new world of, of jungle right now. Oh, diseases just a fucking virus overload <laughs> yeah. but it beats fucking being on that phone having to fucking call people who hate you yeah getting yelled at 24 7 by ass yeah that's terrible get like you know people scream at you fucking get rid of your number and shit oh i wanted to ask you you know what i just bought recently what nhl 22 sorry jeff i didn't mean to bang my foot what nhl 22 oh you bought it yeah, I bought it. Actually, okay. I haven't Have bought one. What? Have you played it yet? Yeah, I just uh, probably played like, I don't know, five games. But I haven't bought that Chell game in like, I don't know, maybe six or seven years. Like since we played in the basement. But uh, right. super realistic. But the only thing I do miss is, do you remember after the whistle, we would just, you could have brawls. Just full yeah. line fights. Yeah, you can't really do that anymore. They just let you like. What, you, but don't you have the option of dropping the, the, uh, dropping the setting? Uh, you probably can. I haven't figured it out. It's there's a lot of shit. Like I haven't figured out any of my, cause my like, like with a breakout, I like to stretch the guy, so I just like to send it up. I haven't figured out that yet. So I've been getting shit pumped, and everyone, yeah, it's uh, no, I I hear it's like super realistic and it's really hard. You gotta like once maybe next week on next week's podcast. This is something we can look forward to. Why don't this week you start playing some of the game modes so that we can like, you can like tell us and give us the inside scoop on like I'll how put on the Twitch. Like That's what it. I'm saying. Yeah, put it. Yeah, this week, <clears throat> play some of the career modes and like so you can see like the new features and stuff like that. Yeah, I can put the record up. Yeah, Madden. I got really good with I'm Madden. Curious to see. Yeah, I mean Madden's the best. Madden, Madden's the same game that it's been the same game for like the last 20 years nhl is like the only one that really changes and they're like they do a really good job yeah like from this version to like the 2015 version it's like crazy how it feels like you're playing hockey no absolutely it's definitely they've made it very realistic to the real game i think Super i mean i fun. think it i'm not i'm not an NHL like, player kind of play so it. i don't know yeah but realistic to what i've played it's super fun, like I, it's awesome, but it's just uh, so fucking. Real. It just sucks when you don't know how to play it yet, because then you're getting yeah. worked by these little fuckers, <laughs> like just hanging like six on you. Yeah, some twelve year olds <clears throat> gonna fucking just rip your asshole. Oh, you know just what I also want to really chirp you to death. <laughs> yeah, seriously. You know what I wanted to talk about too. I want to put a uh, nice little rant on. Was uh, it, it dawned on me this week? I've been seeing a lot of people who have uh, 
people are not nice to people in customer service. And I think that's why everything's starting to just go automated just because they don't have to deal with anything anymore. Yeah. I think it's just easier, cheaper, less of a hassle. No, it just makes way more sense to have it automated. And then you don't have to have anybody sitting there just taking absolute shit all day, every day. Getting the worst punk. part, I think, in customer service is when you take shit from the guy who, who or the lady that just uh, didn't even go to high school. But I heard, I was like hearing and be like, I can't wait to get my lawyers involved. Like, oh, really? You don't have any money, yet you have a law, law team behind you. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. It's like, oh, man, people and their opinions and stuff. It's just oh, brutal. I was at McDonald's. You got to be really careful out there right now because everybody's getting real ballsy. I was at McDonald's last night and like naturally understaffed, right? So like it's taking like an hour. These people are losing their shit, like yelling, like like ten rows back, just yelling at the poor fucking people. I'm like, there's yeah. really no need. Like you'd think, you'd think people would be nicer coming out of a pandemic. Of something. Nah, like, I something think it's really one frustrated one. everybody. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I think it's just really frustrating. Looking everybody. at social media, it's really frustrating. Everybody's looking for something to be pissed off about in the short term just to unload their like immediate frustration. And it's like running people out of head because you're getting a frustrated person and a frustrated person. Oh, I love my favorite. Bitch for last. Oh, these are great badass balloons. I would yeah, say my... Shannon, Shannon just showed me these really funny badass balloons look at these and it says i've cut a bitch for less <laughs> <laughs> that's like a birthday dave balloons. yeah lord jesus it's a fire <laughs> did you see dave chappelle's uh stand up did i see dave chappelle's new thing yeah no but i hear it's absolute fire i mean everything so this funny. dude puts out is yeah everything he puts out is just unreal he is the fucking greatest yeah, I wish he never stopped no doing it. the Chappelle him or, show. Him or Eddie Murphy at this point. I wish that Chappelle show would still go on. That thing was awesome. Yeah, I think it's good. But, I mean, you never know. Never say never. He may bring it back on another network in another time when he's feeling like he has that itch again. <clears throat> yeah. That's I the mean... one thing I've, I've realized sort of working in the entertainment business about artists is <clears throat> even when they say never – there's something about time and the way things develop and new medias that like, you never know something. He may bring it back. There may be a new, maybe a new app that he's building with somebody and he wants to bring some notification to the app. So he says, Hey, I'm going to do a new season of my show and I'm going to put it on this app. If you get the app, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you just never know. Artists are really creative and, he may come back to it at some point for something. I mean, he's he's got so much money he could start his own own network. That's what I'm saying. Like he, that's right. He, you never know what he may create in the future, and you never know he has that sort of in his holster if he ever wants to use it again. You know, like Jerry Seinfeld's comedians and cars. I think that looks like he uh, really like he was going to do it no matter what, if there was a camera rolling or not. Yeah, I think he does it whether there's a camera rolling or not. Like, I think he goes out with comedians for coffee in his day to day life all the time, whether there's cameras there or not. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's wild. And, and I think the other thing, too, is I think that, you know, if Jerry Seinfeld ever had the itch to do another TV show, I think every single network and streaming service would line up to fucking purchase it. Was that his? First and last ever television series, yeah. That's why he's. But he's got a new project coming out. He's gonna do a movie, a movie about Pop Tarts. <clears throat> so he did the B movie, and now he's gonna do an animated movie about Pop Tarts. So we'll see. Maybe funny. The one thing I really noticed is Larry David. How much of it is in Curb Your Enthusiasm and in Seinfeld? Yeah, I mean they use all the all the material. Like it is definitely for David, the creator behind <laughs> both those shows. Yeah, I think that 
I, I think that they were, they were, you know, people always say like, oh, in a writing partnership or in this, they always say like, oh, it's never 50, 50. It's never this. I, I really believe that they each contributed, you know, a lot, equal amounts, yeah. you know, I think it was e the Seinfeld was equal amounts, Jerry, as it was Larry. New Curbs coming out this month. I forget the date, though. I didn't know that. That's pretty awesome. Oh, I hear uh, someone was telling me they they leaked something, but I guess it's like it just pokes fun at like everything that's happened during the uh, during the, like the COVID, COVID. And shit like yeah. that. I guess he gets into that a little bit. No, I'm sure he could get some. I think good it's like the 26. Actually, let's look. yeah. Uh, curious. If it came out this weekend, that'd be perfect. Yeah, that'd be fun to watch. Did you I'm ever going watch... to a baseball game tonight? Did you see? Uh, did you ever watch Hard Knocks this year? Yeah, we watched it. Right? Yeah, we watched it all the way through. Yeah, we watched it all the way through. Yeah. See, I didn't want. I always. Oh fuck! It's the seventeenth. This one comes out the twenty fourth. When's that? Well, next weekend in progress yeah next sunday fuck yeah is yeah. her drop it all at once or is it weekly uh i don't remember did you see the new game of thrones trailer uh no i haven't seen the trailer yet oh. yeah because of work i've just been like i gotta catch up on all this new stuff it's yeah sick. i, I hear it's what... awesome yeah i gotta watch awesome. it awesome have you, you should watch this guy. His name's Emergency Awesome on YouTube. He breaks okay. down these like ads. He does it for Star. He does it. He's like a big uh, Comic Con type of guy. Yeah, that's cool. But like the like the knowledge of those people is crazy. Like they just go into like they take like the little Easter egg and they just break it down and kind of explain everything. It's pretty wild. Yeah, I like that because then I don't have to go through and read all the shit to get to. Oh, it just like. What I do is after every episode, I watch his breakdown of the episode, and I like it goes into like the history of the Game of Thrones. And then you can like rewatch the, the episode and get and see it. Yeah, exactly. And he does it. So, it's like really well done. Where like you are like you don't even have to read the books; you're already caught up. Right. Yeah. And then like you're like he'll take a little minute preview like that and break it all down. He's like, oh, it's gonna probably be more of this story since this is what happened in the history of Fire yeah. and Ice and blah blah blah. Like, it's right. pretty wild. That's I can just idea. watch this YouTube guy, so I don't have to expand my knowledge and read yeah. <laughs> hundreds of pages to develop my brain. I can just take the easy way out and get all of the Far ice enough. cream by, <laughs> yeah, by watching and this YouTube guy. And it's in that's video what form. Gonna, yeah, that's what I'm going to choose. <laughs> yeah, me too. This guy definitely, uh, he's a literature guy too. You know he's got books, just tables, just reading. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would love to be a reading guy in theory. I just don't yeah. have the work ethic to be a reading guy. Or the time. <laughs> You really got to be, yeah, you got to be a hard worker to be a reading guy. Did Yeah, it's uh, that. Or, or Did you ever watch The Mandalorian? Uh, we're only like four episodes in, I think. We still got a lot to go. Season one? Yeah, on season one still. Oh, Bill Burr's in it. That's what I heard. I'm excited to see his character. He's a, I'm a huge Bill Burr fan. Have you ever listened to his Monday morning podcast? Just bits and pieces when i can get some it's so fucking funny it's one of my new joe rogan bill Burr podcast and do you know who tim dylan is yeah tim dylan's fucking hilarious yeah. he, a bit he was like i'm getting to the point where people aren't gonna remember me being skinny it's just <laughs> you only remember him as fat <laughs> he goes he goes there's fat and then there's cab driver fat and he goes i'm getting <laughs> close to that point <laughs> <That's pretty. laughs> he, <coughs> he goes he's fine <laughs> He goes, uh, he's, you know who uh, else I like is Tom Segura. Oh, yeah. Hold on. I'm gonna send you. I let's watch this video because you're gonna fucking piss you. Well, I, I gotta go soon. My, 
my ac- my phone's going to die. So how much time you got left? Like now I got, I'm going to go eat and shit. My phone's like at 20%. I got to plug it in. So, so. 20% is plenty. Listen to this bit. I'm a, I'm a Can you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> Long Island camp dispatcher <laughs> fat is another type of fat. <laughs> another type of fat. You're easily three stones. Three stones. <laughs> Have you ever seen the type of fat where you're not a shape anymore? You know what I mean? Like, here's how fat some camp dispatchers are. You can't picture them as thin. You can't go like, when were they thinner than they were now? Right, right. They are fat bulges in ways that prevents you from shrinking them back down, even in your imagination. And there was the fat guy who would sit in the camp stand where I grew up in Island Park. It was called McRides. Right. The fat guy. And, and all he would do is he'd go like this. He'd go, and McRide was like, it's like, not that Irish people should ever be protected. I'm like, just the most racist. Like, it was just like a leprechaun. And like, Irish people should never be protected. <laughs> and he was in a swivel chair. So this is like the uniform of a, a fat. A where it stops squeaking because it's been worn down. So, yeah, no squeaking. Yeah, it's not Silent swivel chair. This is the end, beautiful friend.